We're very satisfied with this rally. We asked, we put the call out Saturday afternoon with Monday being a holiday and working the special elections. Uh, we thought we'd be happy if we got one or two hundred people here. Uh, there were probably about uh, five times that, anywhere from about 750 to 1,000 people. So we're overjoyed, and we're really overjoyed that a large uh, chunk of those people were private sector unions, um, that, that we understand when we call each other brothers and sisters, that's what we mean. And that's what we're doing um, to protest against what's going on in Wisconsin, because the pretext that it was about money is gone. The, when the governor was told that the unions would give them everything he was asking for in pension and uh, concessions, it wasn't enough. He still wanted to do this ideological break the union, break uh, binding arbitration for the employees. And uh, that's shameful uh, and it's evil. And he's backed by uh, the Koch uh, brothers who are billionaires who uh, fund the, um, the, the, their dad funded the Cato Institute and they fund Americans for Prosperity and other, uh, <laughs> whatever they call the uh, fake uh, the, uh, grassroots movement, the Tea Party. And how are negotiations going here? I understand the governor is calling for a billion dollar cut for each of two years. The governor is calling for a $2 billion cut over two years. There's uh, about 40,000 unionized uh, state workers. That's about a cut of $25,000 per worker per year. And so the math is uh, very difficult. But things are ongoing. Well, um, you know, we said from the beginning that we would be uh, part of any discussions to make this a, a great state to live in. Uh, Daniel Malloy has children, I have children, a lot of us have children, uh, and, and we would like to make this state a great state to live in. To the extent that, that we can do that, we're happy to, um, but the math is difficult. Has the issue ever come up of getting money from the federal government by, government by stopping wars and bringing some of those war dollars home? Your, your point is a good one. I don't think most people realize that 60 cents on the dollar goes to fund the uh, military industrial complex. And so when they talk about entitlement spending, they're really talking about where the dollars aren't. The dollars really are in, in the military. Um, 60 cents on the dollar goes for war. I feel it's important to support the wonderful people in Wisconsin who are doing the most important thing that's been done in decades, and there's so many of them. And I agree with that, with them. Period, I agree with them. You agree that there should still be unions? Yes, I do. And the part about losing money, if you really examine how much money is going to public workers, it's a pitiful amount. And if they would stop spending on the military, it's very simple. You look at the money that's spent on the military, I could just babble on forever. But it's very simple, simple. The money we spend on the military is ridiculous and it would solve all our problems.